I did watch him interact with students, and I think his greatest joy in being at Curtis was his interest in following the students, supporting the students. There was rarely an orchestra concert that he missed or an opera that he missed. He and Marguerite supported student fellowships every year, at least one, sometimes more than one, and he would take great pride and great joy in coming to watch his fellows recitals, in making sure that they knew he appreciated them and had his support and in many cases followed them long after they graduated from Curtis and helped them start their careers as well. When Jerry wanted somebody else to get involved in a program, he could be very persistent, and he was. Jerry had donated to so many causes over so many years for so many different people in so many different organizations that he was never shy about calling in a chit when he wanted one. And if he believed in something, he was a tireless and fearless fundraiser and would eagerly approach people about matching a grant or meeting a challenge to support an organization in which he believed. Right. And for Jerry, what was the motivating factor for getting involved in a project? Was, was it something that touched his heart? Was it a, a sort of hard business case? What was the thing that you think really convinced Jerry, this is something I'm going to put my, my effort into? My observations about Jerry was that he got involved totally with both his head and his heart. How he selected organizations, I'm not quite sure, but it was a unique balance of those two, head and heart, that motivated his involvement and his giving. Clearly, Jerry was the right leader at the right time for Curtis. It was a new day for Curtis, a new chapter for Curtis, to really move into the 21st century in a big way. And Jerry embraced that, and he encouraged that. And the way he led that process was to challenge leadership to envision what the future would look like to share that with him, to get him excited about it so that he would invest in that future. And invest he did, whether it was a new building or endowed faculty chairs or student touring or technology. He was, he was there for that. Without his support, I don't know where Curtis would be today. Curtis would still be a fine music conservatory but maybe it wouldn't be the kind of fine music conservatory that's needed for the 21st century. I think there were many times where Jerry made comments about dispensing with his wealth in his lifetime. Sometimes in jest, he would say that after he'd spent all his money, he'd know who his real friends were. Often because he felt so privileged and so fortunate to have been so lucky to have earned the kind of money that he did. And he was a person who saw what that could do for others. And he's a selfless person. There were often times where Jerry would show up at an event with a sport jacket that looked like he had purchased it in 1962. And he took great pride in that because he was giving away tens of millions of dollars rather than paying attention to whether or not he had a new sport jacket. 